Nurses and health extension offices of Morobe had no choice but to come out to the media to make public their long-standing issues of manpower shortage, ill-equipped health facilities and inadequate medical drugs and consumables. These frontliners are also not immune to COVID-19 as they recently lost a colleague at Lace COVID-19 hospital while a good percentage has been infected. Nurses Association Morobe President Siling Awasa said they are speaking up because these problems will directly affect residents. For us as public health officers, we are already seeing what is going to happen and we can't sit back and wait. So we have to come public because it's really hard to get our bureaucrats and politicians to really come down and see the issues of health service delivery right in the community. The health workers are underfunded, under-resourced and have an aging workforce. Awasa emphasized that their workforce cannot handle the current COVID-19 surge. She further highlighted the challenges they face with cramped facilities. How do you do the social distancing when you have very small facility? How can you do the screening away from other patients who are vulnerable to catch the infection? Over the years, the health workers were forced to plead for resources, with Awasa questioning why they had to when they are skilled and experienced service providers who can help treat and stop the transmission of diseases. We already have big problem with TB, we already have big problem with malaria, the maternal mortality is not um, improved, rate is not improving, and then with COVID here, it's really complicating the situation. Morabes Nurses Association president said COVID-19 is capitalizing on the inefficiencies of PNG's service delivery, adding it is those with comorbidities, people with more than one disease or condition, who will be greatly affected. The nurses and health extension offices are requesting an audience with the Morobe Provincial Health Authority on Wednesday, the 7th of April. The next course of action depends on the outcome of that proposed gathering. Kamala Gware, TV1 News, Lay.